afternoon. It's a pleasure for me to be here with all of you for the second consecutive year. I'm going to present a clinical case of localized pancreatic cancer in adherence to ESMO clinical practice guidelines. Our patient was a woman aged 56. She was a former smoker. She was a diabetic and a hypertensive patient. She consulted with the following symptoms, vomiting and painless, painless jaundice. Her performance status was one at the moment of the first examination. She didn't have hepatomegaly and nor palpable lymph nodes. Diagnosis was based on the following examinations. The first, abdominal ultrasound, which showed evidence of dilated pancreatic and bile duct. No mass in pancreas was seen. The second, CT scan, showed dilatation of the bile and pancreatic duct, an absence of lung, liver, or lymphonodal metastasis. The next one, endoscopy retrograde cholangiopancreatographic, which showed bile duct stenosis by an extrinsic compression. And a biliary stent was put in. The cytology was adenocarcinoma, and the tumor marker was normal. ESMO guidelines recommends the following. Abdominal ultrasound for the initial examination. For further evaluation, EUS, CT scan, and MRI are more appropriate. ERCP has a role only to relieve bile duct obstruction. PET scan has no role in the diagnosis of pancreatic cancer. The tumor marker can be used to gain treatment and follow-up. For patients who will undergo surgery with radical intent, a previous biopsy is not obligatory. And the established staging system for pancreatic cancer is the one developed by TNM Committee of the AJCC and UICC. The first question is, according to ESMO guidelines, should this patient go for? One, immediate surgery. Two, preoperative chemoradiation. Three, preoperative chemotherapy. Four, further staging with PET scan. Or five, further staging with magnetic resonance imaging. Okay, the correct option is one. Okay. The clinical stage was TX M0 M0. Our patient had a localized and resectable tumor because she didn't have distant metastasis, no radiographic evidence of superior mesenteric or portal vein distortion. In addition, it had clear fat planes around the celiac axis, hepatic, and superior mesenteric artery. Our patient underwent an exploratory laparotomy and pancreatoduodenectomy. Mass in pancreas, liver metastasis, and peritoneum dissemination were not seen when the surgeons opened the abdominal cavity. ESMO guidelines suggest two. The only curative treatment of pancreatic cancer is radical surgery, above all for patients with early stage of the disease. It's recommended to refer to the NCCN criteria for resectability and irresectability. These slides show the result of the pathology. The surgical specimen showed a tumor limited to the pancreas. It had two centimeters in diameter, with a low-grade vascular lymphatic and perineural invasion, two out of five lymph nodes involved, retroperitoneal and pancreatic margin was clear, and no additional pathologic findings were found. Finally, the pathologic stage was PT1, PN1, M0. The second question is, for this patient defined as localized pancreatic cancer, which treatment would you consider? One, follow-up. Two, adjuvant chemoradiation. Three, adjuvant chemotherapy with gemcitabine. Four, adjuvant chemotherapy with capecitabine. 
or five clinical trials. Okay, the correct option is three. Okay, adjuvant treatment was recommended for our patient. She received six circles of gem, uh, gemcitabine. Gemcitabine, 1,000 milligrams per meter square on days one, eight, and 15 every four weeks. This patient only had hematologic toxicity. Therefore, the dose was reduced to 750 milligrams per meter square. ESMO guidelines recommend six months of gemcitabine or 5-fluoruracil chemotherapy. This improved the five-year survival rate in R0 and R1 resected patients. In addition, gemcitabine treatment is associated with less toxic side effects. On the other hand, the role of adjuvant chemoradiation is controversial. Finally, for this patient, the follow-up was recommended. The progression-free survival is 80 months. The tumor marker was requested every three months for two years and then annually. And a chest and abdominal CT scan was carried out every six months for two years and then annually. Thank you very much.